Hi, everybody. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you're having a good week. Uh, today in our Bible lesson, we're going to talk about Isaac and Jacob and Esau are born. Uh, in your last Bible lesson, we talked a little bit about them being born. Uh, remember that Esau was born. He was big and strong and he was red and hairy and he became a strong hunter and Jacob was smaller, more simple, um, and he became um, just more of a, a simple kind of man, okay? All right, so I'm going to read to you guys from Genesis 25, 21 to 28. It says, and Isaac... And Isaac treated the Lord for his wife because she was barren, and the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived, and the children struggled together within her. And she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red, all over hairy, sorry. And the first came out red, all over like a hairy garment, and they called him Esau. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was threescore years old when she bare them. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in the tents. Okay, so I read you that yesterday, and we talked about what that meant, okay? Uh, so, the, for her fir the firstborn of the tw twins was Esau, okay? Like I said, he was red and big, and he was a hunter. Right. And uh, Jacob, the word Jacob means trickster. Okay. So at some point there is a trick that Jacob is going to play on Esau. Okay. What was Jacob holding on to when he was born? He was hanging on to Esau's heel. All right. And he was quiet. He liked to stay at home. Right. Um. So they had a little bit of an issue with the twins, okay? Isaac favored Esau, okay? He connected with him better. He was um, spent more time with him. And Rebecca was closer with Jacob, okay? So Jacob liked to stay home. He liked to do things um, and just simple, you know, so he stayed closer to his mother, okay? So they were, they were split up a little bit that way, and they could feel that difference between them, okay? So they were born, they're brothers, they're different, um, they have different kind of relationship with each parent, okay? Um, so, let me see, uh, Esau, uh, his, he was given that name because he was red and hairy when he was born, and Jacob's name means trickster, okay? So if you look at your workbook, we're on 28.2, and each number has a sentence with a blank in it and then you have three choices out next to it okay so i will work through that with you number one isaac had blank sons your choices are twin three or ten okay you had twin sons so you need to circle twin that's the first word out next to number one number two isaac's sons were named blank and blank your choices are jacob moses and esau Okay, Moses was not their son, Jacob and Esau. So you're going to circle both of those names. Number three, of the two babies, blank was born first. Your choices are Jacob, Isaac, or Esau. It's kind of a trick question because, of course, Isaac was born before them, but they're saying of the twins, so you wouldn't count Isaac. Okay, so Esau was born first, so circle Esau. Number four. Jacob was holding on to Esai's blank when he was born. Your choices are hand, heel, and head. 
He was holding on to his heel when he was born. So that's the word in the middle. Middle. H-E-E-L. Heel. Number five. God blessed Isaac's obedience by giving him a blank. Your choices are a great harvest, a herd of animals, or a plot of land. Okay, he gave him a great harvest. Okay, so he made him bountiful and plentiful. Number six. Abraham and Isaac believed God's promise because God is blank. Okay, your choices are a servant, always truthful, and always faithful. Okay. God is always truthful and always faithful. So you want to circle both of those. Number seven says draw lines to match the person to his description. Okay, so we've got Jacob and Esau. And then we have four different sentences on the other side. Okay, so you have Jacob and Esau. And then on the right hand side, you have was a hunter, was a quiet man, Isaac favored him, and Rebecca favored him. Okay, so which one was a hunter? Okay, Esau was the hunter. Then we have a quiet man. Which one was a quiet man? That was Jacob. Okay, then we have Isaac favored him. Okay, that would be Esau. Because remember, Isaac was closer with Esau. And Rebekah favored him. That would be Jacob. Remember, Jacob stayed home and lived simply. Okay, all right. I hope that was helpful to you guys. I hope you're having a good week. Bye.